Howdy and welcome to the 10 week Bible study. This is week six, day three of our study of Esther. I'm your host, Darren Hibbs, and today we're talking about Esther 6, 10 through 11. Welcome back to the 10-week Bible study. Before we get started, I want to encourage you to consider leading a small group using the 10-week Bible study. We've come up with some great books and resources to help make that happen. Head over to 10weekbible.com to see everything that we have available today. With that, let's go ahead and pray before we start today. Lord, would you open our eyes and our ears to hear what your word has to say to us. God, speak to us. Fill our hearts with the knowledge of you. We want to encounter you through your word today. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. With that, let's jump into God's Word to be reading today from the NIV. This is Esther 6, starting in verse 10. Go at once, the king commanded Haman. Get the robe and the horse and do just as you have suggested for Mordecai the Jew, who sits at the king's gate. Do not neglect anything you have recommended. When Haman heard those words come out of the king's mouth, I can't imagine the look on his face, the, the feeling inside of him, the sweat that must have instantly started rolling off of his, his forehead. I mean, this is just the most awful for, for Haman. It's the most awful turn of events imaginable. He says, Haman, this is an, a, you've come up with a great plan. He's like, go get the robe and the horse, everything that you suggested, and do it for Mordecai the Jew. All right, this tells us a couple things. Number one, the king doesn't really know of the decree. Like, he really has no clue of this decree that Haman has made. Maybe... Maybe, you know, Haman mentioned it and, and the king, remember, he's like, ah, Haman, you know, whatever. Here, take my signet ring, put it on your finger. Just do it. Don't bother me with this. You're in charge now. Do everything you want. You've got my ring. Keep it. We know that from the point that he gave him the ring until now, he let him keep the signet ring. He's put him in charge. So the king... Has, has forgotten this silly little decree or whatever, right? He is so uninterested with ruling over his own kingdom that he doesn't care what ethnic groups you need to cleanse and get rid of. I, I don't care. Just do it, right? So this is not even occurring to the king. He knows that Mordecai is a Jew, but he doesn't remember what, what Haman had told him about this ethnic cleansing that's coming up. So it's not even crossing his mind, but he knows that he's a Jew. And he says this, do this for Mordecai, the Jew, that name gets uttered right in the midst of, this is going to be a great day for me. Haman's thinking I'm going to be honored like this. And I'm going to kill Mordecai, that awful Jewish guy. I I'm going to get to do all of the things in one day and the king says, good idea, do all of that for Mordecai, the Jew. Again, I can't even imagine what must have come over Haman in that moment. And not only is Haman going to have to do all of this, he's going to say, I want you to be the guy, Haman, who leads him around shouting, this is what is done for the man the king delights to honor. Haman is the very person that's going to have to herald that throughout the streets. He's going to be the guy leading Mordecai around. He's going to be the one that people are going to associate with honoring Mordecai the Jew. Now, everybody else in Susa, right, as he's doing this, who's, who's read the, the decree, it's come from Haman with the king's signet ring, is going to be like, isn't, isn't Mordecai a Jew? Why? Why is this being done? Why is a Jew being honored when in just a few months we're supposed to kill them all? This is going to be very perplexing for a lot of people. This is going to stir up, I'm sure, no small amount of, of trouble in everyone's minds, least of all Haman. Verse 11. So Haman got the robe and the horse. He robed Mordecai and led him on horseback through the city streets, proclaiming before him, this is what is done for the man whom the king delights to honor. So there we see that Haman is the guy who's doing this. He's the one shouting this. He's the one proclaiming this on behalf of Mordecai and the king. 
And again, I can't imagine the, the feelings and the emotions, the thoughts going through everyone's heads in Susa who's hearing this because they're like, this is a Jew. They're supposed to die at the end of this year in the 12th month. It was the, uh, I think the 12th month of the Jewish calendar. I don't know if it's the 12th month of the Persian calendar. I'm positive they didn't use the same calendar. So they're probably not thinking, all the people in Susa are probably not thinking at the end of this year. They're probably thinking in a few months, whatever it's going to be. However, however they're thinking about, they're thinking, what is going on here? This is so bizarre. We just a few weeks ago got this decree that all of the Jews are supposed to be killed in a few months. And now here is the king honoring a Jew like he's never honored anyone else before. What is going on? Remember when when the Haman pronounced this decree against the Jews, everyone in Susa is perplexed and disturbed. And I'm sure this is just as confusing and disturbing to all of the people in the city of Susa. Again, I don't, the, I think we're going to see in the next chapter that the king has no clue what's going on, no clue whatsoever. But this is, I mean, the tables have turned so fast. The tables have turned so fast here. I love when the Lord does these kinds of things. I love it. I just love it so much. We'll get to see a little bit more of this <laughs> tomorrow. But for today, that's all we've got for the 10 week Bible study. I'm your host, Darren Hibbs, and I can't wait to see you next time. Hey, thanks for watching the 10 week Bible study. If you've enjoyed this, would you consider doing that whole like and subscribe and bell thing you're always hearing people talk about? It really helps other people find out about the show, and my heart is for people to fall in love with God's word. Thank you.